yeah good day guys so in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to apply for the nigerian passport because currently due to the new development you have to start it online and as a matter of fact if you don't have your receipts on you they wouldn't even let you enter the immigration office so you have to start it online and then go to their office to conclude it so in this video i'm going to be showing you just how to do that so that i don't make any mistake so the first thing you can just go to google in case you don't know the website you can go to google and search for how to apply how you can search for how to apply online for my nigerian passport then it's going to bring the portal immigration government.ng for you click on it and then under the passport type you pick standard e-passport you pick standard e-passport and then you go process a country nigeria and then you start the application it's going to load yeah now you put your surname your first name and then your middle name and then you put your gender this is an hypothetical data that i'm putting there i don't want to put my own data so i the date of birth so your national identity number is optional for for now place of birth nigeria contact phone number you put your contact phone number and then uh put your gmail you have to make sure that all your informations are correct your gmail mesperry at yahoo.com so next so click on next make sure your details are correct and then it's going to load and then here these are few of your information then you have to continue either you are doctor miss or missus yeah nist optional then your permanent address arab no let me use kubwa kubwa yeah city fct nigeria is already there fct uh, local government abaji put that's my local government in abuja here yeah? then state of origin then benue nigeria nigeria hometown benue contact info a phone this one is there so i can just cont uh, copy my contact phone number and paste it again to my mobile phone number occupation i can leave that blank the marriage status i'm single color of ice blue color of hair black and then height in centimeter so i can maybe i'm six feet i can just browse my height in centimeter like feet to centimeter six feet in centimeter and it tells me it's 182 centimeter so i'll just go there here in centimeter 182 of course you can change it to say to feet but i just prefer to do it like this so net of skin my put Muhammad Buhari as my next of king relationship with him is my president then contact number i put his number there and then next of skin address also villa and then city is in fct and then the country nigeria uh state sorry fct and the local government abaji i just put that one there so here yeah, processing states which state am i going to process my passport i'm processing it here in abuja if i in lagos state you will put lagos and then passport office i'm using double adder in the passport office is going to load all the passport offices you have in your state and you choose the one that you want to go to the one that is near to you so i actually prefer to go to the one in double adder and not the one in somewhere here so that's why i choose ppt office double adder but yours will be different if you choose a processing state of maybe lagos or kano lagos or kano whichever state you choose the passport office will not be the blood die on your own it will be wherever it is that the passport office are located in your state so now passport booklet I'm, i want to go for 32 pages or 64 where i choose 64 at this stage two which is for five years and then you can put this enter the code and then submit application now it's going to load you to where you're going to pay your payment it's going to show you your information again use your application id and reference number so these are all your information you have to cross check and then you have to print it and then you continue that's your form you print your form your standard application form you save it i save my own as pdf you can, then you continue application so now it's going to load it again and then you proceed to online payments so now you put it on that payment you can choose any of these parts choose innovative one pay now you load it that okay this is the information that i want to make the payment so you can proceed to you can either choose uh 
you can either choose innovative one pay by bank that is you want to go to the bank to pay the money or you want to use pos whichever one but i want to use my card i want to make the payment online so service charges apply which is 1000 but if it's the bank it will just be service charge of i think 500 naira but with the card is going to be 1000 naira so proceed to make payment it's going to load and then i put in my atm details in details 26000 naira yeah my card number my card number i'm going to put an hypothetical number there so you put your own card number and then proceed to payment yes exactly and then you will get this information when your payment is successful that is payment done and then you print your receipts you will need these receipts to enter the immigration office so this is the receipt you print it so and then you print acknowledgement slip also you have, you have to print both print and then passport acknowledgement slip you have to print both of them so print it again print the acknowledgement slip and then you have to print your guarantors form so just go to on google how to print guarantors form for visa application so you will see where you can print it port immigration passport yeah this is it then click on it it's going to load and then now you put your passport uh, passport id this is it on your form application form passport id uh, passport application id then you put the id there it's on your form that you just printed now is there so just put the number maybe this is not the number i just use this hypothetical number but your number is on the application form then submit then it's going to give you a form like this a form like this i covered my details so it's going to give you a form like this and then you can print it and that is all you need so the requirements of your guarantor here is that one passport photographs of the photograph of the guarantor photocopy of the data page of the guarantor's current internal passport for the copy of the following guarantor's document national id card or national driver license of course you just need two of these what i use is but the photocopy of the data page of my guarantors international passports and then the national id card i don't use the national driver license you that's just optional you can you just need two of either the photocopy or either the uh, guarantors international passports national ID card or national driver license you just need two of the three and then go to the court to actually uh sign it to be sworn and then you go to their office and they're going to help you do it so that is it for applying for your visa application this video tutorial is actually brought to you by the help of lightspeed travel center lightspeed travel center is a travel agency in nigeria that's they are the one that sponsored this video that's why i'm bringing it to you so thank you very much